Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna. Do you say hi? Oh yeah, say hi. Luna's visiting me for the long weekend, so she'll be here for my videos. And I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Now, I always forget to say, if you could like and subscribe, that would help my channel out immensely. Also, follow me on Instagram under my crazy life underscore Lori over at Instagram. And we also have a YouTube channel that's linked in the description box below called My Crazy Life. I always, okay, let's get down now. I always forget to tell you all the things. Um, so this is going to be a two-parter. I have a lot of stuff. Um, ooh. And I'm not changing in between. I'm ready. It's Memorial Day and I am creating these videos. Um, I have my old glasses on because my new glasses, I was having a hard time adjusting to them. And that happens to me sometimes. I have a very strong prescription, but I went back to the eye doctor because I'm like, I, I can't. I'm spending my day doing this. So I have trifocals basically. But they found out that the manufacturer of the lenses did it wrong and everything was squished down here. So all my vision, I'm sitting here working like this. So they're fixing it. It's just going to take a week or two. And if I sound stuffy, it's allergies. Tis the season. I found a couple more Dollar Tree Pluses in my area. So that's exciting. Um, but I don't think I have too much from the plus section. It doesn't seem to like they get a lot of different stuff or they haven't yet. Um, but I did get this sign. It was only $3. And I love it. I like this detail here. And this will fit on my mantle for summertime. So I grabbed this sign. It's pretty sturdy. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic for $3. We just have a mess going on here. I have a lot of little stuff. Okay. Now I got, and I have more of these, but these are reusable zip top baggies. So we're going to find out what's happening here. I love a reusable product, right, Luna? You too? Good. Um, this one is in a two size and I want to show you. So we're going to, and I also love it that they didn't poke holes in them for the tags. So these are bags. It says, uh, girls will save the world. Now this bag here is like a sandwich bag. There's no gusset at the bottom, but it will definitely hold snacks. Or if you're going to the beach or you want to keep something dry or you want to put something wet in here to keep everything else dry. It also, it's a sandwich bag. Nice quality. And then you have this one, this size, which I think my other pack is two of this, like snack size, right? And it has the gusset flat bottom, so it will hold more. And I love these because it's not so heavy. Some of the rubber ones are very heavy, but it's also very washable. So you can clean them out on the inside. So I grabbed these, I think they're adorable. And hey, who's not all about girl power? And you know I'm on the go all the time, so it's always fun to put snacks in that type of a situation. And I will be fair, I don't even know what half this stuff is. It's been a while. Okay, I do know what this is. So, I grabbed, oh look at this. So my store's got a bunch of Buckeye and foot, not like Bengals, Buckeyes and maybe Cleveland Browns, but I didn't see any of the brown stuff. But this is just a canvas sign, but it has the logo and it's it says uh, admit one lifetime member of the um, Buckeyes. So I got that. They also had children's silverware and Sarah's bestie just had a baby and that's Brutus on there. So I got those for her. Um, I picked up... This is a no order. Uh, rubber stamps with the letters on them. And then you get their sticky back, so you attach them to a clear um, rubber stamp. Now, I don't know how thick these are. My thought was to mark my pottery. So do my initials and then use that to mark my pottery. We'll see if it works. But that was my thought with that. 
Um, I picked up one more of these necklaces. I love this. I'll show you. Not for a necklace, but for my crafting, I can hang embroidery floss from here if I'm doing something with one color. Put a ring in here and hang my one color floss. Wouldn't that be awesome? And I feel like I could write on this with a Sharpie. It's resin. And then wipe it off with alcohol for my color. And then I can hang it or whatever. You can even wear it as a necklace and hang scissors in it, but that might be dangerous. I'm just going to say uh, for crafting, I needed another set of these. They're just tweezers, but I liked this offset one. And for doing small detail work, they're always handy to have. So I grabbed those. Um, I also found this like popcorn bucket and it is the Ohio State Buckeye. And this is all logoed stuff, which is surprising to me. Um, yeah, I don't, usually logoed stuff is much more than $1.25. But I'm having, when football season rolls around, at my pool house here at the condos, I'm gonna have a Buckeye party. And I thought, well, this is great. I have some other things too. But I was like, that's perfect. Um, and then I grabbed a little planter. I liked, I liked the um, color of it. And I also like that it doesn't have holes at the bottom, but there is drainage, like a drainage thing at the bottom. Um, and I can pop the holes out, which I probably will because we should have drainage. But I like the decor and I also like that it's not super heavy. And you know that I have a plant problem, right? Yeah. As long as we all understand that I have a plant problem. I need to take you on a tour of all my plants. Um, oh, I found some more drink mixes. Margaritaville is the brand and it's strawberry daiquiri and pina colada and i've not tried these before so i thought well what the heck you know i'm all about this for the summer so i grab these and i will tell you if you go to outdoor concerts or festivals or whatever and you just want water and then you can get free water and then bring your mixes it's cheaper than trying to buy mixed drinks and stuff Excuse me. Had a long weekend. Um, I got a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Boring, I know, but we all have to clean our houses, right? Um, you'll see a lot of bee stuff. My store finally got all the bee decor that I feel like they had at other Dollar Trees last year. I definitely know I saw the dishes last year, but this one says, let it be. And I love it. And I love this black and gold aesthetic. It is definitely working for me. So I grabbed that. I have a big bag here. I did a lot of shopping and I just kept bringing stuff home and dropping it off. I grabbed one of these little lunch bags for nothing more than the one that I keep in my work bag for my part-time job. Um, got ripped. So I take a meal with me when I work my part-time job because there's really no food there for me to eat. So I like to have this little tiny collapsible, doesn't weigh anything, it fits in my backpack. If it gets lost, ruined, stolen, I don't care. And then I put my lunch or dinner in one of these. And this one has little dinosaurs on it. The other one at the zipper tour, they're a dollar. I don't expect a lifelong use out of it. And it got me through an entire season, so. It works out perfect, especially if you're just on the go or if like you're traveling with medications or something, that's easy. I know I had one of these last year, but I think it broke. So I got another one that says, be happy. And it does have a um, light inside. I don't know if you'll see it. Now, come on. There we go. And it lights up. And I thought that was fun. Even if I don't light it up, um, it'll look cute on a shelf. I'm loving the honeycomb. I love these. So that's some decor. I think this is bees too. It is. <gasps> look it. I looked all over last year for this cup, for these, this print of, on the dishes and it, we never got it, but they got it this year. So there it is, the bees. I have one of these glasses from all different collections and I think I love that it's such like 
boho chic, you know, everything just mismatches, but they're all the same shape, just different prints. So I got a glass. They also had coffee cups, bowls, and plates, but I don't need dishes. But a glass is fun. Um, this I got for some crafting and to share, but they're 100 pack chalk, right? Let's see, this one here is, I believe, just all white chalk, yeah. But if you know any littles that love to write outside, and they're just pieces of chalk, or if you're doing any kind of craft fair with chalkboard, anything, you have a hundred pack of white right here for pennies, literally pennies per piece. Some of them were broken, but it's okay. But then they also had a variety pack of color. This pack comes with blue, orange, yellow and pink. And they're all just little individual chalks. So I thought that would be super fun. And if you have like multiple grandchildren or youngs or littles or daycare or something, you know, that everybody fights over all the different colors with the big packs. Now you can give them each some white and a color and they can have their own and we're not fighting over it. And if you missed it, I do have coffee. It's iced coffee day. I worked very late Friday night. I worked George Strait. It was a country fest, Buckeye country fest. And my eyes are all swollen. Was that allergies? But I worked, um, it was Warren Zydell, Little Big Town, Chris Stapleton, and George Strait. And it was a long show. We started at 4.30 and it didn't end until midnight. I'm, I'm still recovering. That's okay. Um, oh, more. More B. I guess got this little B. It's a B skep, but it's a little trinket jar and I love it. My plan is it may be in my kitchen putting these on the shelves and then some plants in between. But I love the B and the honeycomb and then it's gold and it goes with it all kind of matches together and I like that so I grabbed that um oh I have more stuff I was at I went to multiple stores and they had a bunch of the nails I prefer the press on kiss brand I love these I wear them all the time I think these are short or are these medium these might be a medium length I typically wear short, but I think these are medium. And that's just a neutral. But then Sarah likes the glue on. And look at these with the um, tortoise shell. And then they have the red. These would be nice for her to wear at Christmas time. So I grabbed those for Sarah because she likes them. And this is regular Kiss brand. They're $8.99 at my CVS. Now these you need glue and these you don't. So that's the difference in the two. And these are, oh, the tortoise are medium and the red are long, but she'll wear either. So I got those for Sarah. Oh, I found some cleaning paste. This is supposed to be their version of the pink paste. Um, it doesn't smell as good as the pink paste and it works almost as good. I have used, I did use it um, on my stainless steel sink. And I will say the pink stuff cleans slightly better, but if you see this get it it works really good it has a little bit of a grit and you polish it on and off and it does a really good job of cleaning stains and surfaces so i grabbed that um i picked up one of these i'm working on a cross stitch that i thought maybe taking this back off and making this an ornament but i don't think for this particular cross stitch this is the right dimension but eventually i will make a ornament out of this for Christmas because I'm up to I'm almost done with my May ornament I will finish it today so I got that and then guys I'm dying I don't know if these are new or not I grabbed a pack for me and a pack for Sarah because well she likes these too but these are little tiny makeup sponges so you put your finger under here and for blending your makeup, if you put powder, you can use um, foundation, and you get a little four pack. 
and it comes in its own little container. I'm dying. Isn't that adorable? So if you have any people that wear, you know, I wear concealer and it's good for blending that out and it's very precision because it fits right on your finger. So I thought these were great. You can also wash them out and reuse them. So I grabbed that for me and then I got another one for Sarah because she likes those. I know that she told me she was liking those. Anything else? Cause I set some stuff up here. No, okay. Um, I grabbed a snack and then I didn't eat it. It's just the meat and cheese stick. I was hungry and then I said, well, maybe I'm not. Um, I got for Alex, I've been taking him outside on a harness, the cat, he's in the window over here. He fits in Luna's harness, if you're not scared, I am. But I also got this little one to try on him to go out on the back porch with me. He likes to go outside, but he's has not been outdoors since I rescued him back in 2018. But if I go out on my patio in the evening, he likes to come out with us. And Al Wellington stays with me, but Alex, I don't know. So I got a little harness for him. Um, I did get the bigger size, but I think this will work better. It's got thinner, thinner straps. And he's a cat, so I don't have to worry terribly much about it being um, sturdy. He's not gonna pull on it. I got, they're calling it decor, but they're just table scatter, but I call them coasters. <laughs> That's what we're calling them. And it's just citrus, cardboard, drink coasters. So you get lemon, orange, and watermelon. I thought these would be fun on my patio when I'm out there with a beverage, right? Or if you have a party, but then they came out with these. This is what it looks like. And they're silicone. And that you put them on the edge of your drink cup, like if you're having a glass of wine or something and you have multiple people, it's a cup marker. It would fit on a solo cup as well, like a plastic cup. So you get all these different pieces of fruit and then everybody should know oh I have the star fruit on my cup or I have the pineapple the lime the orange a strawberry or watermelon and then you can wash them they're rubber they're just silicone I think this is better than the ones that go around your wine stem because we don't always drink out of a wine glass outside in the summer and these are definitely for your like summer drinks even if you have kids that use cups all the time. So I grab those, I need to wash them and put them with my outdoor. Let's, let's not make a mess down here. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, we're taking a little cleanup break. Clean up, clean up. And just, I get questions about the plastic bags. I do reuse these um, in trash cans in my craft room. And I also use them when I clean the kitty litter. So I, I get a second life for sure, out of the plastic bags, but I also sometimes take my own bags. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, here's some more Buckeye stuff. These are little trays. And again, this is logo. So, and if you buy any logo sporting stuff, you know that it's more than $1.25. But it's just little trays and I'm like to serve food on or whatnot. I mean, they're not super sturdy. But it's not a big deal. Like for a Buckeye game, wash them up and use them again. So I have two of these trays. I have the popcorn bowl, some little decor, and it was all a dollar. 25, a dollar 25. So I got that. Um, I picked up this on container gardening. I wanna read this. I love magazines. I also have this one that I got at the bookstore to read on house plants. So I want to read these on caring for my containers and my plants and roots and all that. I also, just as an FYI, I research every plant I bring into my house. My boys really only chew on one or two of my plants and they are safe for them. Um, I also grow them cat grass and I'm growing cat nip on my patio. So they're fine. I don't put anything within their reach or that they have any interest in touching that they shouldn't. And nothing I have will kill them. I think I have one or two that might make them sick if they were to eat it, but they don't. 
Um, and then I got these for my brother's dog for Christmas. She's a medium sized dog and these are medium sized bones and it is um, Brilliant Bamboo Bone. Supports healthy teeth and gums, keeps your dog engaged and challenged, prevents boredom, safe, durable, long lasting for medium dogs. Uh, it's not rawhide. So it's peanut butter flavor and bacon. And I always get her chew toys and stuff for Christmas. And I love when I can find them at a reasonable price. So she just, she chews on these. Yeah, they smell. It's like, um, it's bamboo. It'll dissolve eventually, but it's not rawhide. It's, oh, I better do this for my thumb. No, do you think? So I start collecting these for Christmas for the pets. I was wishing they had them in like large, but they didn't, or small. They didn't have either. They just had the medium, which is fine. Um, this is the other pack I got of the reusable sandwich bags, and they're both snack size, which is perfect for me. This is the ideal size. And when I travel, I'll throw these in my suitcase, and then I have snacks that I get to keep on the go with me, and I put this in my purse. And then I can go back to the hotel or whatever, rinse them out, you stand them up to dry, and I can reuse them. So I grabbed this pack. I know they have other pit patterns. This one was the first one I found, and it's just a gold geometric. So I got those for me. I'm trying to stop using so many throwaway bags, but I also can use those when I go to my part-time job for my dinners and stuff. Speaking of, I gotta change that kitty litter. I just looked down. All right, and the last bag just has a couple little things. Um, I got this to put a cross stitch in eventually. It, I think it's supposed to be a beer bottle cap, but it also looks like a pie tin. And if I find the perfect one, I can put it in here or magnet them in here and then hang this up. And it's just a decor. I can also put like, um, vinyl on the outside, vinyl on the inside. I could put cross stitches on the outside if I wanted, but I think the inside is cute. So this just goes into my finishing stuff. And then in the um, B section, they had this B placemat. I just got one. I know people like to make pillows out of these, but I just got it for if I eat outside on my patio. And then I grabbed this for my kitchen for the summer to put under my coffee maker. And it has the bees. I should probably get more, another one of this. Because I love it. I should get one to take to work too. Although, no, I have a couple to take to work. I use these all the time under my air fryer to keep it from melting or heating up my countertop. And I keep one under my coffee maker. Um, and then I just toss it because it, I spill coffee on it all the time. So that is everything for haul number one. I'm going to record a number two and that will be out next week. So I hope you enjoy and you're having a fantastic weekend. I'm back to work tomorrow. All right, everybody. Have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.